Florida Attorney General Bill McCollum also wants BP to open its wallet. Attorney General McCollum joins us live. Good evening, sir. Good to be with you, Greta. Thank you. Well, you're out. So tomorrow night we're going to hear from the president from the Oval Office, and there's lots of discussion about BP putting money in an escrow account in the last uh, day or two. But let's go back to June 10th. Uh, were you the first in your letter on behalf of the state of Florida? I'm just curious to come up with this idea of putting money in escrow by BP. Well, we were the first as far as I know. I called for that last week, uh, and the president, of course, is now saying he's going to do this. We asked for $2.5 billion for Florida because we've been dealing with the claims issue there, and our state is really impacted. Even though we haven't seen as much oil as we may very well come ashore in Florida, we already see the tremendous economic harm to the fishermen there, the loss of tourism in the panhandle. Even in Miami today, I had one of the largest hotel owners tell me that foreign tourists are not coming in the numbers they were because they don't know where the oil is in Florida. So the damage to the economy the damage to our tax revenue base in Florida, uh, the damage, of course, to individuals and businesses and so on is absolutely staggering what it could be. So we would like to see that escrow account. We also would like to see the president take leadership beyond this escrow account. I've, I've not seen them really act the way that I'd like to see them do this. Uh, I've called for them to look at new technologies. I, I know that Admiral Allen is working hard at different things, but they're too slow. They're way too slow. This is almost two months after the incident. We don't have skimmers like the numbers that we've asked for out there. I think they promised a week or so ago 20 more skimmers, but they could commandeer as much as 300 of them. We need a waiver of the Jones Act, I'm told, that Admiral Allen's call for. Maybe the president will do that tomorrow night to let foreign flag vessels that are involved that I could provide potentially a good deal more help to the removal of oil before it gets to the shore, as it gets to the shore, come to our assistance in a state with the longest coastline. In, in, in this whole operation. And when we say new technologies, there are things like a polypropylene uh, sheet that I'm told is available. We've talked to the technical people about it. It looks like it would attract oil like a magnet attracts metal, and fishermen could presumably use it in addition to the skimming vessels to be able to sap up oil. But nobody, to my knowledge, is doing anything about that or anything about trying to throw more of these um, acid-eating bacteria out there that at least two Florida companies produce that are EPA approved that might get at the oil under the surface. And the list goes on and on about what it seems like that the, this administration is falling behind and is not done. Now, maybe tomorrow night the president addresses all this, but he is way, way behind, in my judgment, where he should be in addressing these issues and his team. Well, it seems like at least he may be taking your idea, at least as a starter on this escrow. I don't know if that's true if you're the first, but at least it, so far, I mean, at least he, he's doing that. But let me ask you about, let's just talk about the skimmers. What is the excuse? If we, if we get 300 skimmers and you've asked for 20 skimmers, I'm having a hard time understanding why you don't have 20 skimmers. Well, I was told by the representative of BP, I have not heard this from the Coast Guard directly, but I was told by him last Monday, a week ago today, when I was in Pensacola, that it would take two weeks to get those skimmers from wherever they're bringing them. Apparently, these vessels are in various ports around the country. There was some question raised uh, by the Coast Guard about removing them from places where they might elsewhere be needed. I cannot imagine that worrying about the possibility of some other oil spill somewhere is going to keep you from bringing all the, the, the tools to bear you possibly can in the Gulf, considering the huge catastrophic incident. They call it an incident. It's, it's a tragedy that's occurring out there every day with these, these, these thousands and millions of gallons of oil that are coming out. Have I you... just uh, really have a lot of trouble seeing why they're waiting around on this and not bringing everything to bear that they can. Have you actually spoken to the president on any of this? I've not had that opportunity. Governor Christ has. I was with him on uh, Thursday a week ago when we first took a flight with a Black Hawk and went south of Pensacola Beach and saw absolutely no vessels in any water near the coast of Florida and came back and I did press and raised this issue and the governor said I'm going to meet with the president tomorrow. That was on Friday. On that particular day uh, we heard back from Admiral Allen that they were going to produce 20 vessels. I don't know why just 20 because we know that there are a lot more of them available and then I heard on Monday that, that they were we're going to produce them, but it'll take a couple of weeks. Well, as this oil keeps coming towards Florida and we see the sheen and so forth out there, they should have vessels in reserve if they've got this many available. They should be going out to take care of that problem. And the other thing the Coast Guard has not been willing to do, even though they have representatives in some of the affected counties, they haven't been willing to give them local decision making authority. So I think the command structure, as much as I know they want to control it in Mobile, has not been ideal in this situation. And they've been well, very, well, very here. slow to respond. Well, we'll wait to hear tomorrow night to see what the president has to say because uh, he has from uh, many, uh, many people think he has a lot of explaining to do tomorrow night. So we'll be listening to what he has to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Greta.